Okay, this is my graphic organizer that I did before I created the piece of writing, which I'm going to read to you in a few minutes. Um, I'm not going to write in front of you. I'm going to show you what I put together in order to make the writing, and then I'll read you the writing. So the audience hook that I picked is kind of like a power of three, although it has kind of like power of four, but I also used action action verbs. So really, when I'm doing descriptive writing, I'm trying to paint a visual picture for the reader so that they can see in their mind, by my word choice, what is really happening um, in, you know, in the action that's going on with the spiders. So I chose pounce, swoop, snatch, splash, and those are all actions that the spider is doing to really make this writing come alive. And then I added a sentence, spiders are dangerous predators. And that second part right there is really important because if I just have these action verbs, but I don't say anything about who's doing the snatching, swooping, or pouncing, it's kind of vague and the reader cannot really figure out what's going on. But as soon as I say spiders are dangerous predators, I'm showing the reader that visually these are the actions that the spider takes in order to catch their prey. Then I've got a topic sentence, solid topic sentence, in the video I watched telling the source where I got the information. I learned that spiders use various unusual tactics to catch their prey, and already I'm trying to use good vocabulary. Instead of just saying various ways, I'm putting um, a good word like tactics um, to show they have techniques and strategies, and so um, great writers use good vocabulary in order to really enhance the images that come from their writing. Um, for fact number one, with the descriptive details number two, number three, and number four, um, I'm not writing out all of these facts in full sentences. I'm writing quick notes to remind myself of what I want to talk about in my writing. And then as I fluently write, I'm going to put these ideas into complete sentences. I did pick the interesting transitions that I want to use. I want to use can you believe for my first main fact and then talk about net casters. Um, for the next main um, part, I'm going to write another interesting method is um, of how the jumping spiders do their hunting. Fact number three, I'm going to talk about um, trapdoor spiders, and I've never heard of them, so I put, have you ever heard of trapdoor spiders? And for my last um, type of spiders, it's fishing spiders, and I put finally, kind of showing as an ending transition that this is my last set of, um, you know, facts or information. Then I've got the solid topic, or sorry, solid conclusion. Now you know some fascinating facts about how spiders hunt for their prey. And this takeaway ending, I'm leaving that blank because I don't actually write it until I finish my real piece of writing that I've written. And then I feel like um, I will be able to come up with a good ending that leaves my reader pondering the topic I've just written about. So let's go and see what I've written. And... Then we'll kind of go through it and find the descriptive words and the transitions that I've used. And again, this is one example for um, to kind of give you inspiration, but you're going to create your, your own example based on what you've learned about spiders and how they hunt. All right, my topic is spiders on the hunt. Sorry, my, my title, spiders on the hunt. Pounce, swoop, snatch, splash. Spiders are dangerous predators. In the video I watched, I learned that spiders use various unusual tactics to catch their prey. Can you believe that many spiders weave sticky, intricate webs that are impossible for the prey to escape? For instance, a net caster spider suspends itself from above with its woven trap and patiently waits for its unsuspecting prey. When the defenseless insect crawls by, the net caster swoops down and quickly wraps up its next delicious meal. Another interesting method of attack is used by jumping spiders. They lie hidden amongst the leaves until an insect passes by. In a quick flash, the jumping spider leaps towards its dinner. Have you ever heard of a trapdoor spider? This sly enemy crouches just below the earth's surface until its prey wanders nearby. With nimble legs or a hungry mouth, it pulls the insect underground to devour. Finally, who would imagine that some spiders could go fishing? Well, it's true. These tricky 